Welcome back everybody to the moment you've been waiting for where we're gonna take all this junk and put it in this thing very technical terms here yeah. <laughs> in the previous episodes we've talked about every single component of importance here and how to know what to get what the cost and so forth generally approaching the developer obviously this computer is much more general purpose you can use it for a lot of things but that's my audience, so that's what we've been focusing on. Yeah. This is Josh, he's a technician, he does computer repair, builds computers, and this is the, the PC he recommended. Yes, this is. What we're gonna do now is just put stuff together in the case, and I'm gonna go over like some best practices, step by step, and not leave anything to just chance on this. Yeah, and as mentioned in the previous video, this is ATX micro case? Yes, this is a micro <laughs> ATX case. Micro ATX board when it comes to sizing. So boss, what is step one? We take off the lid and put in the risers. All so right, let's cool. clear stuff out of here and... Now if you don't have, to this point, the only thing we did was we put the processor on, the, the RAM, and the M2 drive. So that's the only three steps we took. Wow, could you got any cheaper case? I'm just playing. Actually, no, I couldn't have. This was $30 and I love it. It came with a fan. It actually came with two. It has one up front and then it has one in the in the back there. I took this one out. I wanted to use it for another project. But there's no room for LED lights. No, this is not the intended purpose. <laughs> so this is for like the on button and junk, right? Yep, USB, audio, so it's and gonna then all the, put all that the switches. Over there. So the first step is not putting in the motherboard. <laughs> it's actually putting in the risers. So grab that little bag of screws and uh, pick so out all the little brass ones and we'll put them in there. Explain yourself. The risers are what separate the motherboard from the case. So there has to be a little gap because it's metal and stuff conducts and these need to be there. So what, where you're gonna <laughs> put them is, um, if you look at the board, there's, there's spots Big laid circles. out and um, yeah. Gonna put them in there. It's harder than it looks. No, it's not. So after we got the risers in, we're gonna put in the rear I/O shield. This protects stuff from shorting out and connecting where it shouldn't. Okay. Put it out and then push in. Does it feel like it's in there? Yep. Yep. That is. That is in there. Cool. All right, now that we have the IO shield, we're gonna take the motherboard and actually put it in there. This we're thing? Gonna be, yeah, we're gonna be very careful <laughs> not to jam it or rub it up against metal. Try other way, like, like so. <laughs> this is like the operation game. Yes, it is. Oh, I touched crap. It's not quite like operation, but you want to treat it like that. And you got to understand that if this board is scratched in the wrong way, you can't repair it and you just have to throw it away. All right, what do I do now? Right now you're going to find some screws that are going to, um, you can screw in the motherboard with. These screws go on the spacers. Yes, the they, go, they go on the spacers. All right, we got two types of screws. We're using these ones for the, the risers. What's this for? That's for the DVD drives or hard drives. Cool. Other stuff. Mm -hmm. There we go. Everything is screwed in. And then this. Yep. Rear fan connector. Goes somewhere. Just do it. You gotta guide me more, dude. I don't okay. know what I'm doing. All right. Rear fan connector goes right here. Um, it's labeled sys fan. But there's four, and there's only three on this. That's one. okay. Which three does it go on? Where it fits. Okay. It's the most unhelpful answer. There we go. All right, next is put in your power supply and the DVD drive. Make sure you're getting that. Uh, what do you want to do first? Let's go DVD drive. Sounds easy. All right. For this case, you want to put it in from the front. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> How far you want it in? Um, it's got to be flush with the front panel, so stop right there. Beautiful. All right. And that's what those bigger screws are going to be for. When's the last time you used a DVD drive? I can't remember. You can't remember? No, nope. my 2015 MacBook didn't have one. That was like five years ago. Put it in there, right? No, no, no. This is another, this is another version of operation. Don't touch this. anything with all the things. Oh, okay. Nope, rotate it again. Rotate it this way? No, back this fan. Way. Yeah, way. yeah, there you go. Fan faces all the other junk. All right. So you see this notch? You're going to want to get this panel around that notch. There. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's generally what I say when I put these in there. <laughs> Fitting the power supply in is always kind of awkward. Because you're trying to line up these um, like back four screws here and... Not break anything? Yeah, not break anything. So it goes right in there. Yep, that's what's going to keep it away from the motherboard when you're installing it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> this is entertainment here. I don't even know if I should help because... This isn't like an extremely technical thing. <laughs> Are you sure these screws go here? Yes. <laughs> it came with the power supply. All right, it's in. Please don't throw up any more screws. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> you really get the $30 experience. This is the worst. <laughs> Did you really cut yourself? Yeah. Goodness. So this is a thing when you buy a cheap case, you tend to get unfinished metals. They don't tend to um, file down the edges. Stuff is easily bent or, um, you know, they leave the sharp edges on and that can, <laughs> it's definitely not good for someone putting stuff together and just generally watch out and don't force anything. Uh, it's so easy to you know, get wrapped up and be like, I gotta fetch the screw or I gotta move this part to a certain place and Hey, you got your finger. You're welcome. You Is that it for the power supply? All right. Is that it? <laughs> well, you have to arrange the spaghetti octopus monster in such a way that everything turns right. on. Right. Okay. Can Any I questions? We <laughs> start off with your motherboard power connector. I find this to be the most nerve wracking. So couple it together and then put it down. Can I just put one at a time? And one's in. No. No what? Because that longer side, it clips and pushes down the short one. It's actually good. What do you mean actually good? The next step is not this. <laughs> the next step is your CPU power. This provides a 12 volt line directly to the CPU. I'm sure I can figure out where this goes. Monkeys and typewriters. <laughs> there we go. This is fun. How's that, internet? I'm a pro. Yeah. So the next part is to connect our SATA power to our DVD drive. All right, and now if you're anything like me, you're kind of vomiting and cringe right now because of all the bad cable management. Yeah. We're gonna tidy that up real quick with some zip ties. So far, we have plugged in from the power supply to the motherboard, yes. to the processor, and the back fan to the motherboard, and the DVD drive to the, the power supply. Is there anything else we've gotten? We just gotta do the, the front yep. I.O. What we have to do now is the front I.O. and one SATA cable. For the DVD drive. Yep, and then we are good. We are on to the software stage. Yes, which um, we are doing not today. Hopefully in doing this, you can see as a little bit less intimidating when you, know, you think of building your own computer. It's not a big science project. It's just putting together stuff. <laughs> it's pretty neat, pretty simple. And you've been able to catch on and we've done this pretty smoothly, would yeah. you say? Yeah, yeah.
So finish plugging it in. It doesn't matter what SATA port you go for. They're all pretty much the same. Pretty much. All right, got that one. And then all these. Yep. Go up, up here. Uh-huh. Um, this one, you read it says HD audio. And then there's also AC97. Just go for HD audio. It's over there in the corner. The white one that you can't reach because you zip tied it. <laughs> HD audio, which is what you're hearing right now, provided by the Rhodes external microphone. Buy one today. USB. Okay, just anywhere. Yep, this motherboard has three USB headers. A header is just a bunch of pins sticking out and accepts a USB thing. Beautiful. All right, and the last step of this is the front panel connectors. These are a bunch of this. small small connectors that connect a reset switch, a power light, a hard drive light, generally letting you know that the computer is on. Oh boy, we got a whoopsies. Oh my gosh, why would they do that? They basically made a thing that looks like USB 2.0, or yeah, 2.0, and just put it there. No. Okay, so what I'm doing is moving this over. And then you can connect the I.O. to this. There's a little key that you can read and connect stuff with. Good luck. <laughs> what? This is probably my least favorite part of building a computer. Because I have big fat sausage hands. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do Boom, baby. All right, two, three more to go. Keep it up. H, D, D, L, E, D? Yes. P, E, L, E, D. That's pled. Ah, there's two of them, though. Yep. Okay. All right, last one. Uh, we're just power. Power. Yep. So, yes. Well, that was rough, but we did it. <laughs> Everything is connected. Um, that's generally the internal right. assemblage of so a computer. In theory, plug in the power supply, turn it on and it works. Yes. Let's right. do it. Let's do it. So let's see the moment of truth. If all of our hard work paid off, any final words? It works or it doesn't. All right. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it together. Just, no, just do it. We gotta do it together. No. Three, two, one. Oh, oh you I beat me. It. Oh. There's Wait, a little green on. dot. Oh, it's on. Woo! Go over here. Do we get the splash screen? Does it work? I don't know what that plug is for, but something is not plugged in. Is this for anything? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there, there we go. It works. <laughs> So what, there we it wants, go. what it wants now is just to install an operating system and it's good to go. So we got everything installed and it's working. The next logical step is to install an operating system. So you could do Windows or you could do Linux or some something like that. You could do a hypervisor running multiples at once. You could do a Hackintosh put on Mac OS, yeah. Yeah, whatever you want. So that is what we're gonna be talking about next. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe.